Hello, my mellow fellows. So, the question for today is, how do I draw a human from the backside? Well, let's start with the stick figure once again. And this time we're going to do two poses, all right? Two poses. The first pose is just going to be the standard standing pose, as usual. And the second one is going to be, obviously they're still standing, but they'll also be flexing. That's right. So let's start with the one on the left. Obviously, we draw the head first. And then we draw the jaw. But because this is not the front, the neck doesn't just go down here. No, no. The neck is actually here. And then what do we have? the shoulders and then the chest and then the waist and then the two trapezoid hips and then the legs here is the knee but we don't really draw it from this side okay and then the back of the feet which is a trapezoid and then the other leg and again, the position of the knee, but we don't draw it from here. And then the leg again. Another trapezoid. And then we erase this trapezoid a bit. Why? Because we need to draw the butt butt. That's right. And then, as usual, the arms. Yes, I'm changing it up. And now we erase these parts. Why? Because we need to make room for the spine and the shoulder blades. And on the back of the knee, usually what I just draw are just these, these two lines right here. Okay, so we have our first pose. Let's do the flexing one. So let's start again. Let's start with the head, right? Let's start with the with the jaw, and then the neck, and then the shoulders. There's the chest, there's the waist, there's the hips, let's just get all of that done. And by the way, if, if you're if your if your feet is tilting a little bit inward like this one is then yeah you can see a little bit of the the toes on the front but if you're just literally straight then you don't see it now one of the things i did compared to the left one here is that i raised the shoulder a little bit if you can tell why because the muscles have been raised right here the shoulders have come from here where it's resting to up here. So we're going to ignore the hand for now. Remember, uh, it's not just a straight line. You, you do have uh, armpits. There are some of this. There are some of this muscles that go here. And then there are some muscles that go like this, all the way down. And then there are muscles that go like this, and this, and this, and uh, lots of this right here, and then this. But by knowing where the muscles go, you generally know where the bumps and curves and folds appear. Now, if you're confused, don't worry. Just ignore everything we have and stick to what we got. But if you are interested in, in, in learning about more anatomy and muscles, you could do some uh, really fun things with it. For example, I could draw myself wearing a muscle suit. And although it's cartoony, I know where the muscles are and how to shape them according to the art style. All right, 
So, I hope that helps. This is a bit of a short one here, but if you have any questions, totally ask, and I will see you the next time.